everybody knows very few people have all the wealth and they like to keep it that way. We're not just stealing, we're sending a message. Hi. Haley, what's going on? How are you? I'm doing okay, how about yourself? Good. Where are you at? I'm in Vancouver. Oh, okay. Well, wow. that's that's our until Friday. Right originally, I'm from Vancouver originally. Oh, okay. So back home, yeah. basically, right? Yeah. How is everything out there? Everything's okay, and with- yeah, it's it's definitely. I've been in LA since uh, December. Oh, well, I mean, not December for like two years. Yeah. But I haven't been back here since December, and well, since coronavirus, and it's it's yeah. definitely functioning a lot different than LA. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine, you know, but long you got family there and everything, right? So yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, it's been good. There you go, and you have a nice pad too, from what I can see. <laughs> uh, no, it's not mine. I wish oh. my dad's. Well, that's. But I'm gonna pretend it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, roll with it, you know. <laughs> Well, hey, uh, I'm glad uh, to get a chance to talk to you, and, and thanks for taking the time to, you know, you chat it up. First of all, I didn't know. So I'm in Chicago. I mean, I was living in LA until like July, but obviously I'm back home here in Chicago with family and all through through the pandemic. But yeah, I didn't know this was a true story. This movie took place, uh, you know, based on true events, and I you know. guys filmed Where's it I? in Chicago. I mean, man. I guess in this town, it makes sense. Things like that would, would happen. Um, I, what kind of initially struck you when you uh, read the script and, and you heard about the story and, and all that? What was your kind of initial reaction that you remember? Um, I read it and I don't think I had read that it was, do you need to record? Did you record? Are you recording now? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, when I first read it, I didn't um, know it was a true story. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I've heard of like kind of, I mean, similar stories or situations, but, um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I would like to know more details about the true portion of it. And, um, I read it, I was just like, this would be very fun to shoot. And, uh, before I read it, I knew that Michael Shannon was attached to it. So I was like, Michael Shannon. Okay, I really want to do this. You're in, right? I mean, you have to be. That's a, that's a legend right there. And it's he's all, the local... it's all I need to see is Michael Shannon's name. And I was like, I don't care. Whatever yeah, it is. I'm he's in. from here. He's from Chicago. So this is his. Oh, is he? Yeah. yeah this is his... he, he spends a lot of time out here. He's actually involved, was involved before the pandemic in the theater scene. He actually has a theater that he opened here. Oh, yeah. Like small... Yeah. Yes, I heard that. That's I would love to see him in a theater. And he performs like he does shows pretty regularly. Comes out and does them. So he's definitely he's fantastic in his theater scene. So that was cool. Did you? Where'd you guys film the uh, the most of the movie, or, or did you we film it in, in Salt Lake City? Ah. So not Chicago in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Clearly, very not. different. Yeah. But um, I, they did, I think they did a couple scenes in Chicago. Yeah, the but exterior shots look the like they ones. were. Yeah, yeah the yeah. exterior shots definitely look like they were. Oh, what's Salt? What was Salt Lake City like to to film it? I liked it. I think Utah <laughs> is cool. It's definitely different, mm-hmm. um, but it's. I think it's beautiful. But Salt Lake City is is interesting for sure. But it's it's really beautiful. Yeah, it's an underrated. I remember like when I would drive to LA from Chicago, you like pass through Utah. Oh my god. You would yeah. drive, how, how long is that drive? It's 2000 miles. So it's like a 24 hour drive straight up. But, um, but it, obviously I would make stops. You got to stop in Vegas, yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah, you, you hit to, you right through to. Vegas, but, uh, mm-hmm. you just miss Utah, Salt Lake city. You go through a portions of Utah. I always remember Utah was like the dead zone. Cause there's nothing, but just like, there's like, Oh, gas yeah. station, 150 miles. I'm like, are we in Utah or like another planet? Cause it didn't seem cool. like outside of it's Salt like you're Lake in space. City, yeah, it felt like you were in space. There's just yeah. deserts and, and, you know, great scenery, but nothing. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I wish I could have gone more. Um, I mean, we were just in the city, but I would have loved, we did, I, we drove to uh, Park City a couple of times, but I would have loved awesome. to go south to some 
just some like caves and crazy shit would have been cool. They have all that out there. So <laughs> that, that's an interesting state right there. Uh, yeah. What was it like, Bonnie? You, you, it was cool because, out, you know, outside of Michael Shannon, obviously the cast was pretty much, you know, a younger cast. You have Alex Petty for obviously Patrick. Yeah. Uh, it, it was mm-hmm. kind of, you know, in a sense, your peers in a lot of ways. It was kind of wor- yeah. working with them. Uh, and even though it was kind of a, a very much a, a, guy strong cast you're kind of like there's Definitely a, a bro girls in it, but yeah you're one of the the you know the main girls in the sense yeah it was cool um <clears throat> it was definitely I mean it's a bunch of boys so there's some boys club moments but um <laughs> sure. I'm a very easygoing person and we had a lot of fun um me and uh I think Alex was staying somewhere else but me and Gillis and Oliver and Jacob were all like in on it, like on the same floor or two floors apart or something where we were staying. So we all would get Thai food and hang out after there was a Thai place down the street. And it was great. Everybody was cool. It was, it was fun to do and interesting to work with for me to work with four dudes from like completely different stages of life, I feel like. I don't know. I, I find people like so fascinating. It was just so, it was so interesting to hear about everyone's live and lives and their careers and what they want to do and what they've done. And it's, yeah, it was great. You know, it's interesting for me because Patrick's really created like his own, in a sense, you know, career carved out his own niche. You know, oh, yeah. He's just uh, doing I mean, like 150 things. Oh my God. It, it's crazy how, how quickly he's kind of risen too, you know, uh, yeah. and, and done some quality work too. So that was, that's really cool to see his career moving forward. You totally. know, uh, I haven't like, seen, I want to watch Daniel isn't real, but I heard it's really good. Oh, it's so good. It is really yeah. good. That is I one of my really kind of sleepers. It. Yep. It's, it's a, it's really interesting. It's twisted. It's, it's, it's a hell of a thriller. I don't know what kind of movies yeah. you're into. This is like Halloween season. Oh no, I, I want to watch it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it this week for sure. You should. I mean, I'm like gearing up all sort of like scary movies and Halloween movies. Uh, yeah. You know, oh one... yeah, it's the perfect time. Yeah. What what sort of movies are you into, by the way? I like all. I like all movies. I <clears throat> I'm I really like finding great indie movies, but I'm also a sucker for like a huge budget blockbuster. I love the 007 movies. Yeah. I love the Mission Impossible movies. Um, but also comedy is where my heart is for when it comes to working. I ultimately want to do comedies and I love watching them. Like super bad is my ultimate favorite movie well, that's ever. A, that's a, that's a great one. I mean, yeah. it's kind of like our generation's like comedy, you know, and, totally. and a, lot of, a lot of ways. I mean, I'm a, I'm actually a sucker for romance movies. I, I'm glad they're yeah. kind of I like back. rom-coms. I'm a rom-com person yeah. too. Yeah. Any, a good rom-com. You know, my favorite movie, one of my favorite all-time movies is Me Before You. I don't know if you've ever seen it. No. Oh, my God. It's so good. That's okay, another one. It. You should add it to your list. Uh, I will. Yeah. It's Sam Claflin, Amelia Clark. It's so good. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I will. That's awesome. <laughs> I love talking movies in any sense, too, in that way. I know. I know because I want to watch. I'm always like, what should I watch? That's so good to get some recommendations always yeah now is the time to catch up you know when we're kind of like stuck inside and and you know i mean vancouver is going to get cold cooler too the weather outside oh yeah it's cold it is cold now yeah already oh yeah i got the heat cranked in here (laughs) it's 35 in chicago i'm like well i grew up with this this is normal for me yeah it definitely feels like uh fall season's definitely upon us you know, oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you about uh, your time on Riverdale. I mean, you kind of, um, do you miss the crew? Do you still interact with with some of the, the people from the show? Because uh, I, I obviously that was kind of like the big start of your career oh, too. Yeah. Uh, what was that experience like? And um, and do you still stay in touch? I st- yeah, I definitely still talk to almost everyone. I, I still talk to everyone really. Um, and I will always have a special place for Riverdale because that was my first thing ever and it was so much fun and everyone was great and yeah I love that show I love working on that show and it was great I always would always go back even if it's like 10 years from now because <laughs> they I'm might just, be going I'm still. So, I'm just so I know they they very really could be still going totally. I'm just so 
happy that I got to be a part of that, that I'm, I'm always down for that show. You know, the, fun, the funny thing is the first time I remember <laughs> seeing you, I mean, your curls are undeniable. You just remember that no matter what. Okay. Really the, <laughs> they're an amazing feature that you have. They're oh my God, literally perfect. I'm, I'm a big curl. Thank you. Man, you know, always have been. Thank you so much. I remember that's you. So on nice, I used to hate them. So it's so nice to hear that. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a shame because it's so rare to even have such like flawless curls without trying to have, after having them curl. Yeah. I, I'm guessing they're natural by you. Yeah, this is with some effort, but those Riverdale yeah. curls were all natural curls. Love it. You know, I remember seeing you on the arrangement. That was like this one show I loved. Uh, and it oh, lasted yeah. Seasons of it. That was the first time I remember seeing you. Uh, and yeah. I think you were there for one episode, I believe. Yeah. Just for like two seconds. <laughs> but you caught you caught the attention. So there you go. Wow. That's so nice. Thank also, um, I recently saw you. I, I'm like seeing you everywhere recently. I saw you in Spontaneous. That was a really fun oh, movie. Oh, yeah. I, I interviewed Brian. Uh, I interviewed Brian a couple of weeks ago before the release. What was that like? I thought that was super cool and fun, uh, fun movie. Uh, you and Catherine mm-hmm. seemed to have a blast. What was that kind of like? That was such a great movie to shoot and everybody was so awesome and Catherine and Charlie are so I feel like it's so rare and so beautiful when you work with like-minded people especially when you have to be best friends with someone like uh, me and Catherine yeah just got along so easy and so fast it was just like I didn't feel like I just met her when we were shooting it was so great and Brian's amazing and a very a very a hell of a guy character. And passionate yeah totally he is so, so he's, fun yeah he's nuts and i love him <laughs> self-deprecated every i remember yeah. i asked him about uh because he wrote that um underwater movie with um uh oh geez uh, that just came out last year um and he's like, I don't know what the ending was. I'm like, I asked him about the ending. Of the I movie. know. He's, kind of, he's like, well, I don't, I don't know. They took it away, <laughs> I guess, from me. So he's like, I got to watch the movie to find out what they did That's with it. It so was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. He keeps it real all the yeah, time, which I totally. love. Totally. I could imagine that'd be an awesome work environment to, yeah, to be kind of with him. I talk uh, to Brian every like a few days. Oh, so. you guys still keep in touch? Right yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, fantastic. Yeah. You guys should team up again to do something. I know. I would love to. I would love to. He's got a hell of imagination. I mean, he's wrote some great things. You know, you look at his career. He's great. I think he's going to, like, I mean, he's amazing. I want to I want to work with him again, for sure. Anyone else you kind of have on mind that you really, really would want to work with that you haven't had an opportunity yet? Oh, yeah. Uh, director-wise, Guillermo del Toro. Mm. Actor-wise, Bill Hader. I would love to work with Bill Hader. I love Barry. Um, anyway, I wanted, I really want to get deep into comedies. I would love to work with like funny women. Like I would love to work with Amy Poehler. Mm-hmm. Um, anyone that's down to work with me, I'd love to work with them. <laughs> well, there you go. Anyone that's... who's in, I'm in. I remember meeting Bill and interviewing him and he was, he was so like kind of more serious on the serious side. He's very, he's got this dry sense of humor and in, mm-hmm. like in person. So I'm like, I'm expecting this like kind of a, kind of a jokester, but he was like very like yeah serious. And I'm like, Oh my God, Bill Hader can turn it up whenever he wants to, you know? Yeah. We were doing a, when I was at South by Southwest for the new romantic, mm-hmm. he was doing press for Barry right after us so everywhere we every press little junket thing we went to he him and um I don't think Henry I don't know who was with him but um they were doing it right after and I was like what's Barry like I hadn't because the show hadn't come out yet and now that I've watched it I was like oh my god I wish I knew how great it was yeah it's a great show what are you up to like what do you what sort of things you like to do for fun any hobbies and interests when when you're not kind of on set what are some things you enjoy doing in your everyday life I like to crochet Oh. I've been making a blanket. I've been making a quarantine blanket. And how far uh, along are you? Oh, I'm gonna show you. It's honestly really okay. close. I need to get it. It's it's worth it's worth me running to get it. I I would want to see it. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Look at that. And it's, it's got a design good. too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna switch the color now. We're gonna go uh, back to the cream color. 
Are you going to keep the holes bed? or are you going to cover them up too? Uh, or are you just no, gonna... no, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to yeah. keep it like that. It looks yeah. cool that way. Oh, it's that's... got more of a grandma vibe, I feel like, with the with that pattern. And the material looks like it'd be warm too. So, 100% cotton. It's wow, going to be machine washable. <laughs> Is it, how long have you been doing that? Uh, I've been crocheting for like 10 years, but that blanket specifically on and off for just like a couple months. You're pretty far along. That's that's not. It a takes small it takes a long long time. But that's a fun activity to do. How yeah. how did you get into it? Like it just, I mean, obviously you've been doing it for a while, but. Uh, you know, I, when I was 16, I had mono, and I had to stay home for like three <laughs> weeks. And my grandma, <laughs> and my grandma was teaching me how to crochet because she was just like, "You're gonna be on the couch. We're watching The Price Is Right, and we're crocheting." And that's what we did for a and long time. And it stuck time. with you. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I love finding these things. Anything else you're going to show me or, or tell me about? You <laughs> yeah. that I wouldn't know? No, nothing else. That's the most interesting thing. And it's not that interesting. Well, that's pretty cool. I, I sure as hell can't make anything like that. So No, you can. This it's, is the best time to learn it. But how and hard gonna, is it to learn that? You're shock yourself. How hard was it to learn that? Not hard. Okay. You will honestly shock yourself. And you're I mean, I'm always something. open so to try. Make a little hat. <laughs> I got a lot of hair here to cover, so yeah. I mean, might. My... Yeah. Well, that's awesome. I'm, I'm so it's so cool to talk to you and see your your work, even with your crochet work, Thank and you. find out that you like doing that. Uh, <laughs> that's I, what I do on set in between. Oh, you still do it on you do it on set too. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Until yeah. sometimes I didn't even realize I didn't. And Catherine, we were doing an interview for Spontaneous, and she was like. Oh, I still remember Haley bringing her crochet stuff. And I was like, I did that. I don't even remember that. <laughs> it's like so, subconscious, yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, Haley, uh, super awesome to talk to you. Uh, yeah, I'm, a, thank you so I'm much. a fan of your work. I mean, I just, it's cool seeing you just keep on rising uh, in the thank industry you. and doing more and more. So keep those curls. Thank don't you. ever mess with them. Okay. No, they're not going anywhere. That, that's what makes you unique and special in that way thank you so much oh my god uh hey can't wait to catch up with you uh, again on your next project and yeah uh, and definitely hey enjoy that that's that uh setting in vancouver looks looks I like a good place yeah oh yeah i'll suck it up for sure <laughs> take care thank Stay you safe. so much have a good day you too bye Haley. bye you have not been honest with me you made the choice to make it harder for yourself. You don't think I have a plan? We're not here to hurt anybody, right?